The National Medicaid and Midwifery Learning Collaborative is an intensive three-year initiative led by IMI and funded by the WK Kellogg Foundation. Five state teams, Arizona, California, Kentucky, Michigan, and Washington, were selected from a competitive application process. Over the three years, they received technical assistance and guidance from IMI and a dedicated national advisory committee to develop sustainable initiatives to advance midwifery-led models of care for those enrolled in Medicaid in their communities. Each team consists of leaders and innovators representing four key groups, state Medicaid agencies, Medicaid health plans, community-based organizations, and provider groups, including midwives of all credentials. IMI's Learning Collaborative offers individualized team support with the goal of leveraging the underused midwifery-led model of care to address disparities and improve birth equity. Midwifery Care, the philosophy really is all about encompassing the entire person and not seeing their birth as a single point in time, but rather part of a full trajectory of their lifespan. When I was five, I saw my little brother born and later learned in life that he was born at the hands of a midwife. And when my mother reflected on her birth experience, she would say, that was the best birth experience of my life. When, when life starts out in a rough place, it doesn't always get a lot easier. And so we have this opportunity with this kind of work to build healthy families, to help parents feel supported and cared about and loved and um, and that promotes families and children that feel supported and cared about and loved. And I love thinking about the power that that are in communities that are seen as under-resourced because there is so much power that is there that is really untapped. And from my perspective as a one of the community partners um, I felt like I did know a lot of the participants already from the provider's side and from the other community-based organizations, but what, who we didn't know already were the people from the Medicaid agency and from the MCOs, and so that was a whole new experience to have them at the table. I think what's really unique about the IMI secret sauce for the efforts that we lead, both nationally and, and within states, is that we bring together all Medicaid voices. And what that means is federal government, state Medicaid agencies, Medicaid health plans, provider groups, health systems, researchers, but most importantly, community-based organizations and people with lived experience. Everybody is so busy, you know, and so when we had designated time to come together, even just a couple of days was so powerful and so impactful um, it allowed us to take space out of our busy schedules to focus. Having the folks who are living whatever is the issue drive the solutions and drive the innovation and always having equity at the center. This project does that. It brings together a range of stakeholders with a range of expertise, lived and professional from their cultural traditions, from what they learned and, and places they worked, to put forward a model that we know produces outcomes in the maternal and child health space. We took care out of the birth room and it hasn't worked. We're rated last despite the money. It's time that we're not afraid to say care matters, Ten love matters, that is safety. We have a group of energized, engaged, intelligent individuals in this room who are poised and ready to go. Our greatest hit has been our ability to harmonize, that our team has been really fiery led um, by people who have a number of expertise. Both the teams in the state and IMI and the staff have been agile and that's the type of innovation that we have to have if we're going to not just reduce disparate outcomes but ideally eliminate them.